everybody is on their feet here at Hog Allen Fieldhouse, the 267th meeting of his team, and possibly the last. The 179th consecutive sellout. The tip goes to the Jayhawks. They're quickly going down the court. It's going to get stripped. Phil Pressy, the point guard. Now fast break back here from the Mizzou Tigers. The Tigers in there, away black, yellow trim, trim and numbering. Phil Pressy at the top of the key looking to set up a play. Tigers heading right to left across the radio dial. The Jayhawks in their home whites. Now Ratliff at the top of the key gets it off to Denman. Denman, their leading score, about 17.8 a contest. Now back down low to Ratliff, up against Withy. No, nothing there. Backs it out to Pressy. This is Matt Pressy, the older brother of Phil. He's going to take the long shot, miss. Rebound Jayhawks. Here comes Tyshawn Taylor. Yeah, that's the way they, that's the person you want to shoot the ball is Matt Pressy if you're the Jayhawks. He's not a very good scorer. Tyshawn down low into Robinson. Now back out to Relifer. Now Tyshawn top. Now back out to Eliza for the open three. Johnson misses. Rebound Matt Pressy. But Robinson gets it back. A hip and a hop. And he's going to go straight to the basket. And the foul will be committed by the Tigers. I don't believe he's going to get the basket. No. He'll go to the line for a couple shots. Basket will not count. Does fall, but foul before the basket. Yeah, early on here, you kind of see Thomas Robinson trying to get a strip on those defensive rebounds that Missouri is, is getting early on here. So good job by Thomas right there to get a strip, and now he's going to get reward with two free throws. Just underway here, Robinson, the team leader, goes to the line for the charity shots, and he makes the first one count. One nothing lead here, about a minute into play. Again, the Jayhawks coming in to this one with five losses on the season, 23 and five on the season, just two losses in Big 12 play, looking to get two games up on the Mizzou Tigers in if they win this one. Second shot up and good by T. Rob as well. Two nothing, Kansas. Phil Pressy now at the point for the Tigers, up against Tyshawn Taylor. Great matchup there. Now back out to uh, Denver. Denman going to drive the left side. Nothing there. Back out to Matt Pressy. Phil Pressy now with it. Right side. Looking for a play down low. Again, it's really loud in here. Already the fans, the student section making themselves known. Down low to Ratliff. Ratliff up against Withy. Good hook shot that time by Ratliff. He counts it, that, that one in for two. Yeah, that's his bread and butter. He's going to take it right down the middle. And Jeff Withy wasn't expecting a quick shot. So good job there from Ricardo Ratliff. Relford now spots up from just inside the arc. Missed, but foul. And he'll go to line for two shots, Travis Relifer. Yeah, that's going to be pretty big for Missouri early on here. A team that really didn't commit very many fouls in Columbia is now already early on here with two quick fouls. And interesting on the, on the defensive end for the Jayhawks, David, and, and Kim English is being guarded by Travis Relifer, and Elijah is guarding Marcus Denton. Usually it was Travis Relifer who was mostly guarding uh, Marcus Denman, and it's not Thomas Robinson guarding Kim English, so it's going to be pretty interesting. That's going to be an important matchup early in this ball game. Relaford gets the first one, stays at the line for the second. This one, no, but offensive rebound by Thomas Robinson, no on the putback. Rebound Tigers. Here's Flip Pressy now up, streaking back down the court is Ratliff, and a hard foul, I think, is going to be on Robinson. No, it's going to be on Jeff Worthy. It's going to be on Jeff Worthy, excuse me. Both of them down there and getting in traffic with Ratliff, and Radliff will go to the line, so foul fest so far in this one. All three points for the Kansas Jayhawks have come from the charity strike. Ratliff this time for the Tigers, though, at the line for his first shot. Yeah, and it was pretty interesting down here, David. Fans wanted a foul when Thomas Robson got that rebound, but they have to realize not many opportunities are going to happen when referees are going to call back-to-back -back fouls, especially on a free throw line. Ratliff knocks through the first shot. He'll stay at the line for the second. The uh, big four, the only guy with a lot of size, really, that Steve Moore comes off the bench also for the Tigers and is able to uh, clog up the hole and get some rebounds. But Ratliff, Ricardo Ratliff, the biggest guy on this team, and makes the second one count as well. So 4-3 lead for the Tigers. And that's good. Ricardo Ratliff only had six points in the first meeting, now has four quick points here for them. So they want to establish a post presence early as well. Travis Relliford now right side. Now back to Elijah at the top of the circle. Yeah, now we have ourselves a 3-2 zone here. Johnson now directing traffic. Robinson out here looking for him, doesn't get it to him. Now Tyshawn Taylor back around the horn, back down low now to Withy. Jeff Withy double teamed, can't make anything happen. Tries to turn around, can't make anything happen again. Now gets the pass out to Taylor. Tyshawn Taylor trying to make a juke move, five to shoot, and he'll go up and a foul. A foul on the shot, can't get the shot to fall, but he'll go to the line. Again, the fouls continue. The referees are setting a tone early here in this ball game, calling every little foul. 
We I mean, have Mark Whitehead, who, who, who's been in two Final Fours, including the one last year. You have Jerry Pollard, who's been in Elite Eight and also a Big 12 tournament guy. Then you have Brent Moe, who's a Big 12 veteran as well, of about eight to ten years he's been in the Big 12. So they know what they're doing. So a very experienced, very experienced club here for the referees. And by the way, that was Matt Pressy's second personal. So now you're going to see Michael Dixon come off the bench a little bit earlier. Already in foul trouble, indeed. Here's Tyshawn Taylor at the line. First shot up and good. 17-51 to play in the first half. Four to four, all knotted up here. Tyshawn at the, at the line for the second shot to uh, give the Jayhawks the one-point lead again. Again, an, a monumental game. The quietest I think it's been in here in the last several minutes right now during the free throw shots. Taylor's second shot up and good. Bounces off the front and in. Rebound back out. Here come the Tigers and Phil Pressy at the point. Pressy now left side, one up against Tyshawn. Now back into Michael Dixon getting in the game for the first time. He gets 13 points a game off the bench. Now trying to get the shot down low is Ratliff, and he'll get his own rebound and put it back up. Two points for Ricardo Ratliff. And Jeff Whitby on that rebound there, he's limping right now. Yeah, it looks like he tweaked an ankle. Elijah Johnson now back with the ball here for the Jayhawks. Relliford. Relliford now into Robinson at the elbow. Yes, for two points. Robinson showing his range. Here come the Tigers. Flip Pressy at the point. Now back into English. And a quick injury timeout or foul, actually. Jeff Withy is going to go to the sideline and come out of the game. And Kevin Young is going to come in in replacement of him. And hopefully uh, nothing too bad there for Jeff Withy. Yeah, how big is that going to be? If they lose Jeff Withy, now you have to rely on Kevin Young and Justin Wesley. Guys that only average about 10 minutes per game. No, that's going to be pretty huge if Jeff Whitley can't come back in. Hopefully he's all right. It looks like he just tweaked an ankle. Yeah, we will see what happens. Just a quick referee stoppage to play that time to get Whitley out and get checked out. He's looks like he's heading back to the locker room. So, again, we hope everything goes well there and it's not too, something too serious. Again, he, the biggest guy on the court today, should be key for the Jayhawks in their win if they do get come away with a win in 40 minutes of play. Now here's Michael Dixon going up against Elijah Johnson. Nothing there. Kim English now back out to Dixon for the three. No, too hard off the front. Now here's Thomas Robinson for the rebound. Streaking is Relaford, hip and a hop. No, offensive foul. It will be going the Tigers' way. And of course, you can hear the Jayhawk faithful not liking that call. You know, I'm kind of curious to see the call on Thomas Robinson who got a rebound. I didn't see an elbow there. I don't know what he was looking at, but I mean, he's obviously right there on the floor, right, you know, getting ready for the call. And that's going to be key as Thomas Robinson picks up a, a cheap foul. We'll have to see if that comes into play later. Tigers back with the ball now on their next possession, heading right to left. English spots up for the three, and yes, Kim English, 4-3, 9-7 lead for the Tigers. Yeah, Kevin Young is guarding Kim English. That's a matchup that Missouri has to love. Elijah Johnson now at the beak of the Jayhawks, center court. Now back out to the right side to Relliford. Relliford down low to Kevin Young, double teamed as Young. Now back out for the three from Relliford, no. Too hard. Rebound pulled down finally by the Jayhawks, and here comes Robinson with it. Goes up, 4-2. And Robinson, 4-2, down low, 9-9. All knotted up here with 16 minutes to play in the first half. Yeah, I called Travis Relliford the hustle man. I mean, he went out there and got and saved that possession. And now a quick foul here on the Jayhawks as Michael Dixon was trying to get contact. I don't know about that one early on. Yeah, you know, something I, I think especially that they talked about Thursday in the press conference here at Kansas was – not getting too excited for this game. Both teams playing very, very tough and aggressive right now. And maybe just a sense of they need to just slow it down and play their game. Ricardo Ratliff goes up for two down low. Crazy shot. Can't make it count. Now Robinson bringing the ball down the court. Finally does get it off to Elijah Johnson. Throws it away. Jayhawks with a turnover. Back to Dixon for the fast break. Can't handle it. And Tyshawn Taylor will get it back. But uh, it'll go out of bounds, I believe, off of Dixon. He couldn't get quite the handle on it because he was trying to save it from going out of bounds. But nonetheless, that'll bring us to the first media timeout. 15:47 left to play here in this first half. All knotted up at nine points apiece. The Tigers and the Jayhawks. You're listening to KJHK 90.7 FM Lawrence. 